Hey guys, my name is Jay. I'm one of the developers on Gods of Olympus. And as you know, we've been wrapping up this major update with our new god, Hades. We wanted to have some fun for these final stretches of playtesting, so we created a forum thread where you guys could nominate bases in the top 50 uh, for us to take on and post it up, win or lose. And uh, today I'm doing mine. I, I did a few matches, and um, I, I found this to be just a whole lot of fun. So the first uh, match is uh, versus AJ, who's number one, uh, number, I'm sorry, number 41 in the world. Uh, so yeah, ranked in the top 50. And I think a lot of it has to do with this base design, which is really, really clever. It's got, a, got this band of really heavy hitting towers in the middle, all boosted by a lot of Artemis and Ares houses. So lots of range, lots of attack. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know to stay to the southwest, just get away from that stuff and try to, uh, try to dismantle that 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 superstructure from a distance. So I want to get that Temple of Artemis down so those towers that are so strong can't just reach me uh, from, from really far away ranges. So what I'm doing is coming in through the southwest. Um, this is a little bit safer spot. I'm, I'm farther away from all those towers and you know facing less, uh, less damage dealers at the same time. So I'm gonna go through here, try to uh, Try to push push this down with a wall of troops, essentially. So I've got uh, I've got Hades doing reanimate, uh, bringing up skeletons, Aphrodite doing charm troops or charm units to try to uh, get a, get a nice meat shield going, and Aphrodite on summon warriors. So we're doing all these at the same time. Put uh, I put Hades on rot just then. Try to uh, try to start dealing some damage to the temple of Aphrodite. Cleared out some some deco, and once that Aphrodite temple is down, then we'll focus on. Getting the uh, getting the Temple of Artemis down to, to really try to make a difference in how powerful those those middle towers are because those are going to be the ones that are that's the scariest part of the base that could potentially do the most damage to us. Uh, used Rod again and got that tower down. So now I'm actually going to just sweep around the outside, try to stay well well away from. You saw those like really high level upgraded Archimedes towers. I don't want any part of that. I'm trying to play more from the outside. So uh, summon some troops there to try to keep keep everybody off of me. And uh, going for a long shot on the uh, on the Apollo Monument, which does not kill it. That always hurts. Um, so felt a little foolish trying that, but uh, didn't know any better. So uh, trying to uh, trying to still just stay really well to the outside. I got the Apollo Monument there with that uh, with that sun strike at the end. So continuing to use select all, you'll notice um, like when you when you see the um, the little uh, you know movement markers. Uh, indicating where I'm moving everybody, you'll often see that uh, several of them come down at once. And that is a function of me using the select all button. That's really, I, I found, helped me to tighten up how I'm moving my uh, my gods around the outside of the map. So you'll see that they're they're staying in pretty tight formation, and I'm, I'm doing a lot less where I'll lose somebody, right, where someone will get left behind and make a mistake. All right, Cerberus is in. Uh, I felt like I was in a pretty safe spot, like I could take that flame tower out. I charmed it. And uh, without flame towers, um, without flame towers to threaten him, Cerberus is, is very um, he's very tough. He's got the he's got the health of, of Athena essentially, and he can do huge huge damage. So the main thing is that unlike the gods, you can't control him. So you want to clear the obstacles in his path, kind of get him a, a path going that he can uh, that he can do his thing without you know being afraid of getting too damaged. Now he is of course still taking damage, but not like just that not that continuous brutal damage of what you get from like a fire tower. Um, so now with, uh, with, the, uh, with the Athena temple down, the last thing is the Ares temple. Everything's melting a little easier without the Athena boosts and this should do it. Um, yeah, so that was, that, was the, uh, that was the AJ match. And let's see, we have, next we've got a match versus uh, Ginio. All right, so Ginio is ranked, let's see, what is, what is her rank? It is, uh, yeah, she's ranked number 26. So this one and so level level seventy three, um, a little little higher, more the typical range of what you of what you expect in the top one hundred. Oh, okay, so she's got look look, she's got these um, uh, Artemis houses surrounding an Apollo monument. Now you you can't see it visually here, but the the range of that Apollo monument is going to be massive. So any meat shield that I try to raise is gonna is gonna get nuked by that uh, by that Apollo monument. So what I'll be looking to do is get rid of that Artemis temple as soon as I can. I start that with this is I think of just a, such a clever base. Like there's there's all these outposts um, around the outside that uh, that mean if you get too close to the center of the base, you're flanked by uh, by all this stuff down below. So I'm starting down south here, trying to trying to get a get a toehold, and then I will move up 
further to take out the Temple of Artemis next. So now I'm going to start trying to trying to build a meat shield. It's going to be challenging because of that Apollo monument. Um, but if I stay way out here, I think I am. I think I'm safe. So I'm using a lot of charm units, uh, using reanimate uh, from from Hades, and um, and then Athena is uh, using her summon hoplites. So it looks like I'm actually I'm getting overwhelmed. You see, you notice, look at that, all those all that meat shield down. So I've got to I've got to just I've got to do a lot of running away right now and <laughs> and trying to trying to stay uh, stay alive. This is at this point I'm going to be losing the uh, the fight trying to trying to slow push this base. So I am going to make my way around, kill this ballista tower so it can't flank me, and then move up into uh, into where this Temple of Artemis is located. Try to get it down. Uh, this could be a little costly moving in here uh, a little bit, and you know I'm taking some some damage. Notice how that that Artemis monument is hitting my backline gods. A lot of people um, kind of miss that about that monument and why that makes it powerful. Um, but it's okay. So it, it it did cost me a bit, but I'm okay, and I think this is where. Well, the tide will, will start to turn because by taking down that Temple of Artemis, that Apollo monument can no longer just reach all around the outside. My meat shield will survive a lot longer. So now that meat shield will survive long enough to uh, to get out there and um, and engage with the other troops, uh, engage with the towers, start doing damage of its own, distracting um, you know the other the other towers and troops for a lot a lot longer. So I'm again going back to using uh, I used rot there, but overall I'm going to be favoring more the uh, the troop production type powers, charm units, uh, reanimate, and uh, summon hoplites. So I'm, as I'm as I'm sweeping around the base trying to trying to pick apart some of the troop production buildings, um, I run into this other outpost here, which I have to handle because if I have that at my back, it's going to do way too much damage to me. So pulling up a pulling up another nice meat shield here to uh, to try to to try to keep me alive. And um, it's 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 going it's going fairly well. The the one thing that I have to I have to just be careful of is is to make sure that the, the gods stay pretty healthy and most of the damage falls on the uh, on the meat shield. Because what you notice is those you those 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 hoplites in the black uniform, very strong coming out of the Athena monument, which I suspect is, is leveled up pretty uh, pretty high. I put in Cerberus now just to to make sure that uh, that I that I keep this advantage and don't get don't get too overwhelmed. Um, we're going to be trying to push pretty hard here and having some extra meat shield and attack power in Cerberus. The time was about right. There's not too many serious threats to, to his health. And there we go. With that with that um, Athena monument down, that's that's pretty much takes care of the last of the really big threats as far as troop production goes. Um, notice I charm that fire tower to try to make it, uh, make it work for me instead of uh, doing damage to Cerberus. Now, unfortunately, Cerberus is now starting to... I've kind of lost... Uh, <laughs> I started, I quit paying as much attention to him, and he is starting to take damage uh, down in the uh, in you know in the more southeast central part of the base. Uh, but we are on our last temple, so I'm probably yeah. He's boy, service just got toasted there. That's <laughs> that was rough. But since we're on the the last part of the base, uh, I'll get away with that, and um, we should be able to finish off this temple of Ares, and um, and then I think win the uh, win the match. All right, this last match is against Keva, who is number 12 in the world, um, a level 73, uh, so that's a very impressive, yeah, <laughs> I remember looking at this base and my heart sinking a little bit, because this is this is really massive, very well designed, uh, heavily upgraded, and um, and overall just looks like a lot of trouble. You notice all those, uh, all those academies and archery ranges have, uh, have really nice emblems on them, there's going to be, you know, elite troops coming out of them. And overall, it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty challenging match, I can tell. But I'm, I'm immediately starting with the, uh, with the slow push, <clears throat> and building up those, those walls of troops. Um, I feel like overall, um, I won't suffer too much from the, uh, from that Apollo monument. Uh, mismanaged the Athena there, got her, got her, um, got her a little bit burned by that fire tower. Um, but I, I do overall feel pretty confident that um, there's no, there's no major threat to all of my troops like a like a really long range uh, Apollo monument for example that will just uh, obliterate my meat shield uh, so I'm, I'm going for it with uh, charm units uh, summon hoplites and uh, and reanimate right now and uh, what I'm first trying to do is get this uh, get this Athena temple down to try to soften up the rest of the base it looks it's got a you notice that statue is pretty highly upgraded and there's um, Athena House is scattered throughout, so I want to get that down. All right, so what I'm doing is Hawkstorm here. I'm trying to, to kill as many troops as possible with Hawkstorm, and I'm going to combine it with Reanimate, because notice 
boom, I get a huge number of troops thanks to that. See, when you when you use Hawkstorm and you get a lot of kills, uh, Reanimate is going to be way more effective. You get a lot more uh, a lot more skellies raised up, and you get a huge skeleton army. So I'm really trying to make this push work. So I brought in uh, brought in Cerberus as well. Um, there is some there are some fire towers. Hopefully, I'll be uh, be smart and try to try to clear those out a little bit. Um, and avoid getting too much damage to Cerberus happening. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to kind of clear a path for him. He's going off in a bit of a different direction towards some, so I yeah, hit that other fire tower with Sunstrike. Really, it's it's just a, a great idea to try to escort him as much as you can, because he, again, you can't control him, he's a little wild. Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> poor Cerberus. But yeah, so you, you'd want to try to clear the path for him as much as possible. And then, boy, yeah, Athena was just accruing tremendous damage. Notice I dropped Zeus in on a huge number of troops to try to get those kills. And now Hades scoops in with Reanimate to uh, try to raise the dead from that Zeus drop-in. That's another big thing you want to do. Anytime you can get those big kills like that, you get Hades in, get that, get those, uh, get those opportunistic reanimations to happen. Move in, reanimate as soon as as soon as lots of troops go down. Um, so now I'm going to be pushing up. I'm actually, I think at this point I was feeling, uh, you know, okay with how things are going. Apart from the fact that I have used my, uh, have used my heal. I've had uh, uh, my tankiest god drop. Cerberus has been out. So I'm a little gassed at this point. You know, I've done some good damage to the base, but i um, starting to get a little, <laughs> a little worried. Um, but, you know, I'm still able to, to produce a decent meat shield. The other thing that, that hurts with missing Athena is that she can, um, is that she can do summon hoplites to, to help build up that meat shield but uh, rather than retire her to the back which is often smart I, I got her killed so that was uh, that was probably not the best way to play it um, but that's what happened um, next you notice I'm, I'm trying to skirt around the edge because I'm, I'm seeing I'm looking at these really exhausted gods you know with uh, with starting to get you know low HP and those towers I'm looking at a couple of lion head ballistas it's all looking really scary so now Aphrodite's dropped um, morale is starting to go into the toilet at this point. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I'm not going to win because um, my only, uh, my only god still capable of producing a uh, a, a meat shield is going to be Hades, and he requires a kill to do it. That's that's one thing is that, that he doesn't do nearly as well as Aphrodite is that his uh, his reanimate is it, it does it does okay in in just normal casting situations, but it only does that really great effect of uh, you know raising a huge meat shield when you have uh, done a big kill in the area as well. So trying to trying to slip uh, trying to slip out here uh, use that uh, use that reanimate to create some distraction, but it's just it's just not nearly as much as I could create if I had more gods. Look, everyone's starting to get real low. This is going to be uh, a wipe pretty soon. <laughs> so that was it. So congratulations, Keva. I cannot uh, I cannot defeat your base. <laughs> so that wraps it up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun for me. Um, if you if you guys would like to see us do more of these in the future, you know, let us know. And there's plenty of nominees that uh, that I didn't get to. I was just trying to do a few matches, and um, we we would we would love to do something like this again. So um, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.